good YouTube DM Gaming here back with another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot video. I know it's been a while. We're not going to get into all that, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button now. Turn on the bell icon so you don't miss a single upload, guys. It is what it is. Let's go. So DLC 3 is the, the hot topic for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And we are approaching the first V-Jump of 2021 where we could potentially hear some news we're approaching the one year anniversary of dragon ball z kakarot so i mean come on man I, there, there has to be something put out for this you know but it, this game rant article kind of sums up what the majority of the community feels or is debating about in regards to dlc3 and in today's video i kind of want to present things in a sort of different light aside from the majority and I'll give you evidence of that. Why? But the, the top things, and this does pretty much sum up what the community is looking for. Uh, the top four things that they're looking for is the Hidden Universe 6 Saga. Uh, down here is the Masu and Future Trunks Saga. Broly from the Dragon Ball Super movie. Or, and I, I fall in kind of into this category here. Something completely different altogether. Original. Now, they said four, now that, but that's actually five. So, uh, yeah. But the main four or main three would actually be these three. Hidden Universe 6, Goku Black, and Dragon Ball Super Broly. I've done many of videos breaking down even these individual things. And if they're going in a chronological order kind of thing, of course the next thing would be Hidden Universe 6 Saga. However, the issue is, is that the producer for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot said in an interview when DLC 1 dropped that dlc3 will be on the lines of a saga matter of fact let me see if i can pull up the articles because there's very interesting wording um in that article that that we really have to pay attention to i've, I've talked about this before and bro this is back in april almost a year ago guys uh but here he says uh where is that it's here at the bottom somewhere no, it's not at the bottom. DLC, strong improvements, players required a main story, Super Saiyan died from the beginning. Right here. This upcoming DLC boss battle episode that season pass owners can access. The season pass includes two boss battle episodes and one additional scenario. Okay. In terms of content volume, see right here, he's talking about how big are these? At this point, he's, he's, he's not talking about what they are. He's talking about the size of these DLCs, okay? Each boss battle episode is on par with a few sub-stories combined. And we know that. The boss battle episodes, they weren't sagas. They weren't arcs. They were simply boss battle episodes. But here, the context of this paragraph, he's talking about how big they are. The additional scenario will be on par with with one story saga such as the saiyan or frieza sagas and i know people are saying oh but what about the translation or this or that guys he's literally telling you that it's an additional scenario now we do know from some of the the scans earlier like the the stuff they did call it some people call it original arc some people call it a new story arc he this is the lead producer calls it an additional scenario and people will say, okay, well, maybe it translates to ARC. But if that were the case, he wouldn't say this. The additional scenario will be on par with one story saga. See, they use the word saga. We use the word ARC. Kind of same thing. Same thing. But if, if the translation of additional scenario meant ARC, then it would just say that. One additional story ARC. We call it an arc because of its length, guys, but it is a scenario, okay? And when you look back at these individual things, I don't think any of these could be considered on par with one story arc. Uh, the, the Broly one definitely couldn't because it was a movie. It, it was an hour long. I mean, it didn't, you know, it hasn't even been played out in the anime or the manga. I don't see Dragon Ball Super Broly being DLC 3. Could it be a part of it in some way? Possibly. But is that what it is? I don't think so. Universe 6 and 7 tournament with Hit. I don't see this being an arc. The reason why... Well, I'll say this, okay, about the Universe 6 and 7 thing. I don't see it being an arc. 
I don't see it lasting 12 hours. The reason why is because when they fought the Universe 6 and 7 tournament, they were in one location. They were on the, un the unnamed planet, which ended up being one of the Super Dragon Balls, okay? Where can you go? What can you do? You see what I'm saying? It would be, you know, I say that, and as soon as I say that, I think about Beerus and, um, I think about Beerus and, 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 and Whis's planet, where there's literally just nothing there. You have Beerus and you have Whis and you have the, the Oracle fish that you can buy things from. So I, I don't want to rule that out. My only thing is how can you make that the length of an arc? And we know the length of an arc in the game was saying in Frieza Saga was about eight hours long, okay? So could you make that eight hours long? You would really be stretching things out. You see what I'm saying? Because there wasn't a, so much dialogue. There wasn't as much stuff happening in the Universe 6 and 7 tournament as it was with the Frieza arc and stuff like that. So yeah, that doesn't quite fit. So as far as lengthality goes, the one that fits out of these three scenarios would definitely be the Goku Black arc. However, the way that the game is going, I don't see how they skip over something as important as Hit, Kaba, Kale, Khalifa. You know, well, they came a little bit later on. Later on. So let's just start with Kaba. You know, those guys, how do you skip over Kaba and Hit? How do you skip over Champa and Bottles just to get the Goku Black? Because if you're doing Goku Black, that means you're going to do some future content. And those guys are going to have to make an appearance at some time or another, especially if we get to the Universe Survival Arc. You know, or, or you know, you can't just leave those guys out of that. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I don't know I, the, the Goku Black thing, while everybody would be excited and happy and, oh my gosh, Goku Black, I don't see that happening just yet. Also, we have to think about this. In the DLCs, you can't go to different areas. Like, I mean, the only area that you could go to is Beerus and Weiss's planet, of course, to train. And then you can go to Earth. And when you're on Earth, you can only you're you're limited to one particular area. So that serves justice for say the Broly movie, but in lengthality, eh -eh, we gotta cross that out. Also, with the hit thing, Universe 6 and 7 tournament, while it serves credibility, the number of fights in the dialogue isn't long enough to equal out to a full arc. So once again, we have to eh -eh, cross that out. Goku Black, like I said, we would have to skip important prominent characters to continue the story. So <clears throat> I have to mark that out as well. I Guys, I'm falling into this category right here. There's something completely original all together. The reason why I feel that way is because of a few things in the game. Number one is the way that the game is structured, you can play the DLC and get everything that's there to get in the main game, aside from a few attacks that you would have to go into the training system and uh, into the training grounds and obtain, okay? So when you're playing the main game, you can, there's no, there's really no need for bond you. I mean, you could get her to get some of the know-how skills, but you can get all the transformations, you can fully level up your character as well as get Super Saiyan Blue transformations and Trunks and the Time Machine. You can basically get almost everything there is to get in the game without ever even touching the main game. There is a reason that that is structured this way. I personally believe that they structured that, that, structured that this that way because you have a group of people who did not want Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. They wanted some Dragon Ball Super. And so the DLC allows them to get the Super content without having to play through a long Dragon Ball Z story. Now, even that being said, there's still, um, there's still some things that they have to take care of that, you know you still have to go into the main game and get and things like that but other than that there's not much that they can do so guys this is was very interesting here in the steam files this was back on december 24th after uh the cards battle release they did have some item slash item slash uh item image composed 
Now, what's very interesting about this is the people who are involved in this. So we'll go through those uh, real quick. They have Yamcha, and they, know, for some reason, they have two of each one. So they have Yamcha, Vegeta. They have Trunksu, Team Trunks, okay? They have uh, TN. They have Raditz. They have Pickle Roll, Krillin, Goku, Adult Gohan, Freezer, Chaosu, and let's go up to the top. We got, where was we at? Chaosu, Freezer, Chaosu, Cell, Majin Buu, and Banyu. Very, very interesting. Who's missing from this list? Well, from this list, was Piccolo in there? Piccolo was in there. You're missing Goten, you're missing Kid Trunks, and you're missing Android 18. But aside from that, you, I mean, you're and you're missing some minor villains. You're missing Nappa, you're missing the Cybermen, you know, you're missing uh, Kid Boo, you're missing uh, uh, Android 19 and 20. This leads me to believe, why is why are they in here? Why are they composing these images? Why are they putting this stuff in here? People can say for the Cars Battle, but like I said, the Cars Battle was already out by the 24th of December. This is dealing with DLC 3 for some reason. They're doing something here. I believe, and this goes to this right here, the other thing altogether. Why did they make it a point to add trunks in the DLCs? You see what I'm saying? They put them in the ritual. But he, he was already unlocked in the base game, but they made it a point for you to unlock him again after you complete DLC 2. Now, I know you say, well, why didn't they do that with DLC 1? Guys, like I told you, DLC 1 and 2 were originally supposed to go together. Also, with Trunks, they add the time machine that allows you to replay the story of the DLC. But get this, you can't replay DLC 1. Why? I don't know. But you can replay DLC 2. That's very interesting. Also, they put that time machine there again. You see what I'm saying? There is going to be something done with the time machine. There is going to be something done with Teen Trunks. Where his picture at? Where? Where? There's going to be something done with this guy right here, guys. Teen Trunks. Let me let me raise that up. I know y'all can't see that right there. I apologize. There's going to be something done with Trunks. Why do you make it an effort to force him, at, well, put him into the main game at the end of the game as a playable character, and then you force him into the DLC? There are people who haven't really watched Dragon Ball Z who don't really know who Trunks is. It's an opportune time to tell the history of Trunks. And I believe that that is something that this article by Game Rant left out. They could go and tell the history of Trunks. And in doing that, could lead into the Goku Black thing. They could do that. Because I know the, the name of the game is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So that's one scenario is the history of Trunks. But let's take it a step deeper, guys. We know that we fought Toa and Mira. We know that we have very little information on Banyu. Could it be possible... That, like I've said in, in videos before, that they go the route of talking about uh, uh, Toa and exploring Toa and Mira more with Trunks. Because here's the things with Toa and Mira. We still would have to fight with Goku and Vegeta, okay? But by doing like a history of Trunks kind of thing, flowing into Toa and Mira, we can start to get into Trunks' time patrol thing. Because get this, Toa and Mira's in the game. They're from Super Dragon Ball Heroes. They're from Dragon Ball Z Universe. Really stem from Dragon Ball Online. But because they have meshed that in there, okay? Because they've meshed that in there, maybe the time machine and things like that will be able to use it to traverse into the multiverse and fight and, you know, get Toa and Mira and stuff like that. Or... We could get, begin to see some stuff with Banyu. I believe with Banyu, they have Banyu, Boo, Cell, and Frieza. Those are some of the top ones aside from Kid Boo. Oh, and Raditz. So it's possible that Toy and Mira could take them over and fight them. And you may say, well, DM, they kind of already done that with the villainous enemies. And you're 100% correct. The only one that's missing is Banyu. 
I don't know guys, I'm just throwing out a bunch of ideas because at the end of the day, none of us really know. But there are way more than just four things that could be DLC 3. And the purpose of this video is to open your eyes to that possibility of other things. Get outside of the realm of what we want. People want hit, people want Goku Black, people want Super Broly. But guys, if you jump straight to any one of these, if you jump straight to Broly and Goku Black, you're skipping some enormously important content. For example, the Tournament of Power never would have taken place had the Universe 6 and 7 tournament not happened. So you cannot skip that important part. You get what I'm saying? So all of this stuff is prevalent. And if you skip ahead to Dragon Ball Super Broly, you've already skipped the Tournament of Power. You've already skipped the Goku Black Art. You've already skipped Hit. You're missing out on so much. You get what I'm saying? So all of that stuff is extremely important to consider when we're thinking about what DLC 3 is. And I hope that going forward, we put on our thinking caps, not on what we want, but what is the most logical thing for the game. Sorry that this video has been so long. Y'all know how I get. I get long-winded. I love to talk and present information instead of breaking it down in like three or four different video series. I'm like to give it to you all up front, guys. So that's all I got for right now. Have the best day you can. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.